Code with Kurt, the channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set and get values in a spreadsheet using Google Apps Script. And I'm going to cover some examples of how to do that just by setting the value itself, using variables, setting multiple values, setting arrays into the cell. So I'm going to go through about five examples, examples that I use quite a bit through my projects and what I work on through these videos. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. All right, I got my spreadsheet opened up here. Um, it's called Get and Set Values. I have two example sheets down here, example one, example two. So example one, I just have car in A1 here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this value we're going to set it in c1 and we're also going to set a couple values in my first example so we're going to go over the google apps script and that is extensions app script and my first example is here and i will post a link to this code in the description below the video so you can copy and paste this in as well so my first example is a function i have it set to the spreadsheet active spreadsheet setting the object of ss then i'm going to set my sheet using sheet by name example one here and then from there i'm going to use sheet here it's my variable here i'm going to use get range i'm going to use a1 first value and i'm going to say get value so i'm going to grab the value out of a1 and then from there i'm going to take the sheet I'm going to get my range again. I'm going to label this as C1. So I'm going to move this value, my variable that I have stored as value A1. And I'm going to set the value in C1. And along with that, in D1, I'm going to set the word dog in D1. And then in another way to write the range is 1, 5. So basically, row number 1. The fifth cell, one, two, three, four, five, which is E1. I'm going to set the word cat in my first example. And then I also have a debugger here, and I can kind of show you how that works as well. So I'm going to run this first example. So I got run. I got example one picked here, so I'm going to go ahead and run it. It's going to run. It's completed. I'm going to go over my sheets, and here it copied from A1, moved it out over to C1, and I put dog and cat in there. So that's just the first example. We're setting single values in single cells here. And then to see the debugger here, I can, you put the debugger down here, then I can see what the, the variables I got set, what they are as it runs. So if I hit debug over here, it'll show you. So this is the full object of SS. This is the full object of the sheet. And then my value A1 is car right there. So this is nice to use if you want to see your variables and see how information is kind of moving around. So that's my first example. The next example, we're going to get into more arrays, setting larger amounts of data, different rows and columns and stuff like that. So I'm going to go back to my sheet. I'm going to go to example two. Here I have this started up. I got it from A1 to C4 here. So if I go back to my example two, again, I got my spreadsheet set up, the active one, the sheet object. And here I'm going to get the range of A1 to C4. So basically I'm grabbing this chunk of data right here, getting the values. So it's different. This up here says get value, getting values is the function call here. So that's going to set array in here. So this is value array. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that into E1 G4, which would be right here. Just fits just right in there. So I'm moving this over here, copying this, not moving it, copying it, and putting it right here setting the values to value range. And then I got another example where I'm taking I through A, I1 through K3, just another way you can show this. So this is three rows here. 
and I'm setting this array, except in this one I just spelling it all out. This is a JavaScript array. I'm putting this in there. So let's go ahead and run this example number two. So that is done and I could check over here. There I just copied this, moved it over here, and then I set that array in here. A couple things to note, if you do say I brought this down to just row three, like that, and I go ahead and run it. I'm gonna get an error, and it's gonna tell me I don't have enough room to fit this in. So you gotta make sure you have the right amount of room for this to fit in if you're gonna set it somewhere in the cells here. So I'll switch that back to G4, hit save. And then the next three examples, I'm just gonna show you some different ways you can append stuff. So. In the example two, I'm going to be grabbing the data again from A1 to C4. And then from here, I'm going to pin a row from the value range zero. So if I go through here, I'm going to run the debugger on this one. And then I'll show you what it's going to do. So I'm basically going to take the first row off of this here. And I'm going to pin it to the sheet. Now, appending what it does is it takes the last row that you have populated anywhere on the sheet and it's gonna find the next open row so that would be row five here so that's just gonna put it right here starting with the first column and going over it's gonna pin the first row of my array so if I run this what's well, we're gonna do the debugger on here so I can show you what what I'm talking about the array here so let's do example three well I just ran it so what it did is it added D, A, and A, but now let's run the debugger on this. So it's gonna add another row yet to the bottom of that. So my array is this. I'm just doing the zero here. So D, A, and A is what I'm appending. And that's why I put the zero here in my array, calling the first, that's the key of the first row. So if I go back to a sheet, I put another row here as well. And if I keep running this, I'll just keep putting rows and rows of this first one here. So then how do I get, how do I pin all my rows in this first bunch right here to get put in right here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in a for loop in the next example. So again, getting A1 to C4, get values. Now I'm going to iterate through this whole thing. So I'm going to start with zero. I'm getting the length of the array, which is one, two, three, four, the amount of rows. And I'm going to count. So I'm going to start with zero, one, two, three, working it through zero, one, two, three. And that's going to pin it to the sheet. So it's going to take all the rows and put it at the bottom. So I'm going to stop my debugger. I'm going to row run example four here so I'm gonna select four I'm gonna run it and that's gonna append these rows all four of them to whatever I had on the bottom right there like that so I can just keep adding to the bottom and in my last example and I'm gonna show this in the debugger what this does is I'm using this function called get values with this function of get data range basically this is going to grab all the data on the sheet and put it into an array this function works nicely because you can bring all your data into a javascript array then you can manipulate it in your google apps script code i say javascript because this is really this is google apps script but it really falls really close to javascript then i can manipulate the array in there, manipulate the data, and then I can push it out, set it to the screen. And that's just a quick way to grab the data, manipulate it, and push it back out to the screen using this. So I could show an example of how I can grab everything and what that looks like by using the debugger here. So I'm gonna go to example five. I'm gonna use the debugger. And now here I got all data, so again, nine rows it's spanning 11 columns out some are blank here so this is my first row all the way over it's just extracting all basically this is my array this range right here and if you get down to like 
row 10, a lot of these are just blank. If I go down here, which would be row nine since you're starting with the zero value. So again, all those are blank. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.